when I first got this boat, the ground pin was broke off the trailer connector. That's not good. And four wires going to it, so four pins. Okay, I just picked up a, another pigtail here, spliced it in, all right, we're good. Except for when I started splicing it in, I realized, no, it, it's not a four wire, it's five wire. Okay, which that's not uncommon at all on boat trailers. Well, then when I went further back, I realized, oh no, it's, it's actually a six wire. There was a six wire under here that had been broken off in rough shape, and I noticed the wiring was rough. We'll just say that. All right, so I wired this in just to get me by, but it's not right. So we're fixing to pull all this out. We're going to run all new wires, and we're going to get this right. Yeah, this one wasn't even connected. <laughs> This one wasn't attached to it. Well, if that was the running lights, I can't wait to see what we run into with the tail lights. I knew that was just going way too smoothly. The bolt's turning in here on the back side. There's no nut, it's rounded off. And I'm just hoping to get enough pressure on it to where I can get it to turn loose or do something. All right, we did something. Picked up a trailer wiring kit, and this kit's gonna be five wires, four pins. On the pins, I know the furthest pin to the left, the female on this connector, is going to be the ground. and So that's our white. The next pin over to the right, going from left to right, is going to be the running lights. Okay. I need two wires coming off of it, and there are two wires on this five-wire setup coming off of that one pin. So that's where the fifth wire comes from. So they've already got these attached. We've got a yellow wire coming off of the third pin over th to the right. So that's going to be the left turn signal and brake light. And then for our last pin, we've got a green wire, which is going to be the right-hand side turn signal and brake light. We've got a brown for our running lights already attached to the green. So, and we've got red for running lights attached to the yellow. So what I decided to pull this from the front, that way I don't have to cut any of this. And we're just gonna make sure we run the white and two wires down one side. And then to have it wired up exactly like this was, which I don't even know if we'll need to do that. I'm gonna have to order new tail lights. I don't know how those are gonna be configured, but we're gonna run white down the other side with two of the other wires. And I just wanted to make sure I wrote everything down so that when we come back later and add the running lights also, we know what colors is which. 
and when we get on the other end, start wiring things in. That's just going to make life easier. After all of those or somethings, the old lights, they just didn't survive that. So I had to get some new ones. And I couldn't find any locally, so I had to order some. Well, we started this on Saturday. It's Tuesday afternoon right now. Tuesday evening. I had to work all day today. And we're running out of daylight quick. Plus, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. All day. Plus, I still got to get the boat back to my mechanic and... Hopefully, he's going to be able to figure out what's going on and get it fixed on the outboard before this weekend so we can go fishing. Right, well, we got a lot going on here. My back's about up against the wall right now. But all those other things are things I can't control. I don't have a bit of control over the weather or how long it's going to take my mechanic or any of that. The only thing I can control is making sure I get these connections right on these lights. We've got brand new wires, we've got brand new lights. We get good connections. Well, that's what I was talking about the foundations before. We get this right and we should never have to fool with this project again and this will have been done right. So I'm gonna focus on controlling and what I can, doing the best job I can and we're fixing to put our heads down and go at this one.
Alright, we didn't get it finished yesterday, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So we're going to try our best to knock it out today, and it has been raining pretty much all day, and we got caught a little break right here before more rain comes in. So I'm going to see if I can't get this knocked out before the rain gets here. And all I've got left is just to tie, clean up my mess up here with the connectors, tie in my extra ground wire ran, and wire in the side lights, the running lights. And then as soon as we get this wrapped up, we'll go out into the shop and we'll talk connectors then. Because I, I didn't use the connectors I wanted to. What we got is going to work, but it's not as good as I'd like for it to be. And so we'll go into why here in just a few minutes.
Okay, that probably wasn't the most exciting thing you've seen today. But that was something I just had to get done. And when it comes to projects, we're all lacking in something usually on a project. We're lacking in time or money or tools, materials, knowledge. That's a big one. We're usually lacking in something. Well, I have been seriously lacking in some time here lately. And while my big motor's down, I can't go fishing, this was the time to go on and just get that done. I wasn't looking forward to it and I didn't particularly enjoy it, but it's done and I feel better. And it was nice to see those brake lights come on and the blinkers working. It's the first time I've seen that on that trailer. <laughs> so yeah. Now, I was lacking in time do during this also. So I did a, made a few choices there that I, I didn't particularly want to primarily with the connectors. All right. There's four basic types of connectors for those of you that don't fool with electrical much, and I'm sure there's more, but four most common. You got your wire nuts, and that's where you twist your wires together, you screw your wire nut on there, and then you wrap it in electrical tape. It works as quick, as cheap, as convenient, as easy. The downside is it's not waterproof. The electrical tape is just to hold it all together, but it doesn't keep out water or moisture. So boat trailer is going to go into water. From there, you've got a type connector with heat shrink on the ends, and you put a wire in from each end. And, and I did this on one of the lights. Right, so you put wire in each end, you crimp it down, and then you come back with a heat gun or a dryer, well, hair dryer. That's what I used, and you throw the heat to it. The ends shrink, and then that seals it. Really good connector. The only problem is. I didn't have many of these. As a matter of fact, I had about one. Y'all seen me use it. I thought I had several more when I started. I thought wrong. All right, so then I went to the Scotch locks. And these aren't actually Scotch locks. These are some knockoffs that came with the lights. But hey, they came with the lights. They were free. I used them. And, and they work. And Scotch locks are actually a brand name from 3M. I'm sure these aren't 3M. But anyway, I mean, you just plug a wire in each end. You got a little blade in the center that, that actually cuts through the outer casing on the wire and makes a really good connection there. They're, they're quick. And then you got to snap the top on it. You're good. And I still wrap the ones that were there with that I put on with electrical tape. You know, tape's not going to seal it but it will hold everything together or help hold everything together. And that's the downside of these. These aren't waterproof either. Right. Then we've got the fourth method. Soldering iron and silver solder. Yeah, nobody does this anymore. But I was actually going to. I wanted good connections. My soldering iron didn't work. I hadn't used this in years and my ends come loose or something. We've got something going on here. They check it out, but it makes for a good connection and it is strong and it holds up very well. And then you take a piece of heat shrink tubing and bring that in over a soldered wire connection and then shrink that down. That's, that's a good connection. That's what I wanted to do, but I didn't have time to fix this and actually finish the project. So we want Scotch locks. They're going to work. Though. They'll hold up. The wiring that was on the boat, yeah, it is rough. <laughs> it should be after however many years. Let's see, almost 30, not quite 30 years. All right, it has scotch locks on it. This is what the side running lights were actually attached to, or a type of scotch lock. It's got a plug in here and the side running lights that weren't connected to anything. They plug into the side here, and I'm guessing they just vibrated and worked itself loose. That's the reason for electrical tape. Had the side running lights, had electrical tape on here, and taped to these connectors. They would have still been on there and possibly working. I don't know. <laughs> but we have new tail lights, brake lights, uh, turn signals, and we have new running lights. We should be good. 
And that's, that's just a good feeling knowing it's done and I'm not going to have to fool with it anymore. So what are we working on next? I ain't got a clue. All I can say for certain is we ain't fishing Saturday. The boat's probably not going to be ready, which, hey, we're making progress on it. I went ahead and changed the sending unit out from the gas tank while I had all the electrical stuff out. And that was nice seeing that gas hand work. I, I hadn't seen that before, so yeah, that's nice. Those come in handy when they're working, making progress. But it's not going to be ready for Saturday. And I've seen the weather forecast, and they're calling 25 mile an hour winds. So I don't have a clue what we're going to get into. But if you hadn't already, just hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and we'll figure it out this weekend. God bless, and y'all have a good day.